bottles, as, Yamashita, treasure markers. Old bottles, were commonly used by the Japanese, Imperial Army, as markers, on their hidden, Yamashita treasures, because, these, are the type of objects, that does not degrade, through time. Based on my experiences, as a treasure hunter, the bottle used, by the Japanese, Imperial Army, comes in different shapes, sizes, and colors. When it comes, to the shapes, some, can be, very artistic, in their, design. One, of the best bottles, in terms of design, that we discovered, is, the Inca bottles. As for the sizes, I have seen, one inch bottles, as the smallest size, while the largest size, that I've seen, is, 15 inches in height. And for the colors, I have already seen dark brown, dark green, green, dark red, maroon, blue, and colorless bottles. In order, to classify, certain old bottles as markers, they need to be buried, at certain depths. Based on my experience, as a treasure hunter, most bottles that we encountered, were buried at around, 3 to 10 feet deep. You also need, to analyze, the bottles, if they are old, or not. Most bottles, do actually have, their manufacturer, labels, which include the year, when they were produced. You can use this information, to confirm, if the bottles, do belong, during the time, of the second world war, or, much older. Just to let you know, the Japanese, Imperial Army, occupation of the Philippines, had occurred on the year, 1942 to 1945. However, not all bottles, used by the Japanese, Imperial Army, have, their manufactured date, on their labels. So on this case, you can distinguish, old bottles, from the new, through the, refinement, of their surfaces. You will notice that, new bottles, do have much clearer, finer, and smoother surfaces, as compared to the old bottles, which, were roughly made. So, what is the meaning of bottles, as Yamashita, treasure markers? Bottles, that serve as a Yamashita, treasure markers are a strong indication, that, you are, on the correct path, towards, the hidden, treasure deposit. They, are guides, which mean that, you need to continue, digging, right on that, particular spot. In some cases, the Japanese, Imperial Army, had placed, certain number of bottles, on each layer, of the, ground. So, as you go down deeper, on your diggings, you will continuously, uncover bottles, until, to the layer, where you finally reach, the treasure seal, or, the deposit itself. The Japanese, Imperial Army, also did the same method, in some of their, treasure deposits, in caves and tunnels. By following the bottles, inside the tunnels or, caves, they will lead you, into the correct direction, particularly, at the hidden, 
chamber. The bottles, that you may uncover, will not always be, in their good shape, where, some are most likely, broken. On some cases, you may even encounter, completely shuttered pieces, of broken glasses. But despite of their condition, their meaning, still remains the same. You, just have to be careful, because, these broken glasses, are quite sharp, which can cause, deep cuts, or wounds, when carelessly handled. Aside from being sharp, some bottles, contain strange powders, or liquids. If it happens that, you uncovered such bottles, then you have to be careful, not to accidentally, break them. It's because, their contents, can be deadly, or poisonous, particularly when inhaled, or, applied to your skin. Common types of bottles, that you, must take caution, are, those small colorless bottles. It's because, they are most likely the ones, that contains, deadly chemicals, or poisons. This topic is covered, on a separate video. Large, bottles, were also used, by the Japanese, Imperial Army, as containers. One, of my fellow, treasure hunters, had discovered, one old bottle, that was strangely hidden, inside a hole, of an old tree. When he took it out, he noticed that, it contained, something inside it. Due to curiosity, he opened it, and unsealed the bottle, and he took the object out. The object, was, a piece of, rolled, brown cloth, with a sketched treasure map. On some cases, the Japanese, Imperial Army, also used bottles as containers, especially for small-sized treasures, like coins, gems, or diamonds. Some giveaways, are also contained, inside bottles. Anyway, if you have any questions, with regards to this topic, then feel free to ask them, on the comment form below. Moreover, have you enjoyed watching this video? If your answer is yes, and, you are new to my channel, then you may want to subscribe, and, hit the like button. You, are also free to share to your friends, or, to someone, who may find it helpful. If you prefer, a reading material, about treasure hunting, then, I recommend visiting my blogging website at, treasurehunt.club. Thank you very much for watching, and, happy treasure hunting.